I went all over the city today and it was really heartwarming to see how Delhiites have come forward in support of this program. It was fascinating to see how different, only odd number cards were on the road. Yes, there were few of them who were odd ones out and had not followed the rules, but those were the exception to the rule. Now, it's very interesting also that the most dramatic uh, change that we have seen on Delhi's road today, just not the less number of cars, but more important, many buses on the road and they were zipping past. We have never seen buses running in that speed, which has improved the overall journey speed of the bus commuters. There were the streets and the main arterial roads in places like Mathura Road in front of Pragati Maidan near ITO, uh, near India Gate, which are otherwise chock a block with cars. And we could see only buses, rows of buses and auto rickshaws. Now that is the kind of road and street we want to see in Delhi. And this has today brought out the opportunity that this city has, that if we can reduce car congestion, then we can immediately free up the road space for the public transport to perform more efficiently. Our data has already shown that how because of car congestion, the buses, the new buses that we have bought, and so many of them in, the, in this city, they cannot even perform their daily scheduled trips. And the number of trips that are cut the number of kilometers that cannot be done because of the congestion. But today it was so different and it was great to see how the public transport, the bus transport and autos and taxis were performing on Delhi's roads. But it is also very interesting for us to note that the car numbers were certainly very low today. Yes, 1st of January. Uh, and today uh, schools, colleges and many institutions are also closed. It is still quite early to make the, uh, this pass the judgment. We still have to wait till Monday when everything is going to open up in this city. And, but we would certainly hope that the uh, people of Delhi will continue to support this program and this 15 days of odd and even formula, we, it is our responsibility to make it a success. Only yesterday, we have crunched the data of air quality in this city. And what we have found, the levels of pollution this year, this winter, is much higher than what it was last winter. This, uh, the, during the month of December in 2015, nearly more than 67% of the days had severe level, which is the, cat the worst category according to the National Air Quality Index. Last year, December had 65%. November last year had 53% severe days. This year, it was more than 70%. Now, clearly, therefore, what we are noticing is that pollution levels are growing. It has become a very serious public health issue. Vehicles contribute hugely to the toxic pollution, and they emit within our breathing zone. So if we can reduce the vehicle numbers, our personal vehicle numbers on the road, then we will be able to clean up the air. Let us also make our own individual and personal contribution to the cleaning up of the air. Our data shows that if we leave our petrol car home and take a CNG bus, immediately our personal pollution footprint will reduce two times. If we leave our diesel car home and take a CNG bus, immediately our pollution footprint will reduce 40 times. For SUV, it's going to be 80 times. And that is our personal, individual contribution to clean up the air and protect the lungs of our children.